Today we are reviewing the Deuter Climber 22 liter kids backpack after three years of heavy use. Hello, I'm Jason. Just a little less than three years ago, we put out our third ever video, a review of the Deuter Climber 22 liter kids pack. We had just started using it and I had just started making videos. So in the review, we talked a lot about the features and the hope that it would meet multiple needs as our kids grew. But also being our third video, it was long and the audio was awful and I looked wooden in front of the camera and, and, and it was bad. But the review ended up being prescient. This pack has served our boys very well for three years of rough use and we have no plans to pull it out of service. So today we're taking years instead of months worth of knowledge and refreshing our review. Let's start with what I think is, maybe strangely, both the best and worst thing about this pack. It is versatile enough to use on many different types of adventures, and that has allowed us to have one pack for our kids without having to spend hundreds or even thousands on multiple specialist packs that they will just outgrow eventually. But that same versatility makes it not the absolute best pack for any one of those adventures. What I think it is best designed for is mountaineering or peak bagging. We can simply examine the features from the top down to see why. It has a top lid with both outer and inner zippers. This is something climbers use all the time because we are often tied into precarious positions and want to be able to get at things with one hand, or we want to have our climbing partner get at things for us without having to dig through the main compartment and potentially drop gear. But the top lid is not detachable. I think that's good for little kids so they don't have things to drop or lose, but it is not exactly what modern backpackers are looking for. Most backpackers don't want the added weight of a top lid and rather default to roll tops. Speaking of roll tops, they can be harder to use with very thick gloves, so the Deuter Climber has a draw cord closure for the main compartment. Again, more weight. It has an internal sleeve and exit port on the pack body for a water bladder, something most backpackers forgo, but which can be helpful if you are using your hands for other things all the time. Down the back, we have an elastic draw cord that is used in combination with the ice axe attachment loop to, well, secure an ice axe. But thoughtfully, the attachment loop comes with slots that allow us to securely drive the points of trekking poles into them, making the system a trekking pole attachment as well. Super handy for approaches into climbs where we want the poles for walking, but want them out of the way on the climb itself. There isn't a ready second attachment though, so while that probably isn't an issue for most kids, it has been something my little ice climbers have had to work around, and could be an issue for anyone who is looking for a small pack that is fully alpine ready and easily capable of carrying two ice tools. The back of the pack is also daisy chained. Again, this adds weight, but does make critical attachment points for things that are either too big or too sharp to be carried inside the pack. And there are helmet attachment loops as well. Again, great for climbers, but just unnecessary material for other types of adventures. We can also make use of the side pockets, which I have found to be a little shallow, simply because the pack is so small, there isn't really any room to make those pockets deeper. Again, this is both a good and a bad thing. Shallow pockets are great for things like snow pickets. In combination with the side compression strap, you can lock down items and still pull them free from the top. But for water bottles, that side compression strap is needed to really lock the bottle in place. And that means the kids can't simply grab the bottle while the pack is still on, like a backpacker would prefer. And then we get to the hip belt. It's clearly designed for carrying climbing gear that is racked on carabiners. All that being said, while the Deuter Climber is, surprise, best suited for climbing, it has just enough backpacking features for us to use it in those ways too, including a backpacking trip we did on the Colorado Trail for a multi-day mini through hike. It did well enough. Obviously at only 22 liters, it isn't going to hold a lot of gear, but the boys carried their mattresses, water, snacks, the tent, along with some extra socks, underwear, and personal items. They really couldn't manage the volume of the sleeping quilts or the group food. But really, doctors recommend only giving kids about 15% of their body weight, so they wouldn't have been able to carry much more, even if there was room. So speaking of weight to carry, let's talk about carrying comfort. First, the pack is 15 inches or 38 centimeters from the base of the lumbar to the shoulder strap connection. It's 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters from the middle of the hip belt. It does have load lifting straps to peak the shoulders if you need to. 
and there is an adjustable position sternum strap. The boys really started having the hip belt in the right place once they hit 12 inches, 30 and a half centimeters, in torso length. The pack weighs about 25 ounces or 710 grams. That's not heavy, but it isn't light for a pack of only 22 liters. It's because of all the features I just described. But there are other reasons, and some are very good reasons, that the pack weighs a little more. Yes, the features added weight, but so does the roughly half centimeter padding on the shoulder straps, the backs of the shoulders, and the lower back. That padding goes a long way to eliminating shoulder pain complaints from the kiddos. The hip belts are less padded, but they are stitched to create a cup around the hip joint, helping keep the hip belt in place and eliminate rubbing. We haven't had any chafing to contend with. The pack also has a semi-rigid foam internal frame for weight distribution. It does a good job with the weight you could fit in a pack of this size. The foam isn't removable, however. Maybe the single biggest testament we can give to the pack's comfort is that our kids have been carrying this pack for three years, and since they weighed less than 40 pounds or less than 18 kilos, they wouldn't still be enjoying this stuff, and they wouldn't still be using this pack if it hurt. But by far the biggest reason the pack isn't the lightest is because it's darn near bombproof. This thing is durable. It's 210 denier ripstop nylon with reinforcement on the bottom of the pack. Kids fall. Kids scrape rocks. Kids throw their pack down indiscriminately. That burly material comes with a weight penalty, yes, but it also is what has allowed us to keep the pack for three years, beat the heck out of it, and see only this as the damage. Some pulled threads on the back panel and reinforced bottom, and some wear at the areas where the corner of the back panel meets the pack bottom. That's it. That's what three years of heavy use looks like. And here's the other pack. And to me, that's what we wanted in a pack for our kids when they were just getting started. We wanted to save money by getting a single pack that was going to be brought on every trip, so it needed to be able to stand up to that level of abuse. This pack has been on pretty much every trip with both our boys, regardless of objective, regardless of weather, and regardless of equipment, and it has stood up to all of those tests. It will stand up to more tests yet to come. Does your family have a favorite piece of kids gear? Tell us what it is in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. If you are into climbing with your kids, you may want to check out a video we did on getting them set up with crampons, or you might also be interested in our safety series on single pitch child rescues. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.